we were a small niche company doing, you know, mid, you know, to low to mid six figures prior. And since the course, the course did over a million dollars. At Founder, we're leading an educational revolution in training the entrepreneurs of tomorrow. In this series, we're talking to our own students to discover how they're building the businesses of their dreams. These are real, everyday people who have made it happen. Now, before we jump in, our lawyers have told us to tell you this. Of course, we can't guarantee you'll have the results like some of our stories are about to share in the show. And as you know, with any business, it's a lot of hard work in addition to completing any online course. And with that said, welcome to From Zero to Founder. Hey everyone, Molly here. I'm the Community Manager for Founder Magazine and welcome to the series From Zero to Founder. Today we're sitting down with one of our Rapid Course Formula students, Brandon O'Morkey, who has transitioned from the HR industry into actually having his own course. This is really exciting and he's got some pretty big clients, so let's get into it. Hi Brandon, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today and speak about your journey as well as your course and your company. And I guess to begin, would you like to introduce yourself, tell me a little bit about your expertise, where you're located as well as like your company. Sure, happy to be here. My name is Brandon Amorgi, I'm the founder and CEO of Offer Group, uh, which is a recruiting agency. We're based in Austin, Texas. And we specialize in uh, helping people move into uh, sales, marketing, and IT related careers uh, with a new focus in healthcare. Uh, and we're uh, located in San Francisco, Austin, and New York. Wow, that's a very exciting prospect. And I guess, you know, I, I have speak, spoken to you in the past, and you have mentioned some pretty big clients that you work for. What um, sort of big players have you and your company secured over the year that you know you've grown your company? Sure. So we work with um, some pretty large uh, Fortune 1000 and 500 companies, uh, Tesla, Capital One, Merrill Lynch, Ameripies. Um, those are some of the bigger ones. Netflix, uh, we've worked with all of those folks. Um, and then we also work with a ton of companies that are uh, in the Series A to Series C startup world arena as well. Uh, and then probably another uh, dozen companies smaller than that. So those are sort of the sort of stages we operate in. And it's just finding uh, needs that they have. Big companies have the same needs as little ones. Uh, and if you can get your foot in the door with the right person, a big company will give you a chance. They don't, most, what I've learned is most people don't care who you are, what you look like, what type of of what your company name is, right? Um, as long as you can solve a problem for them, no matter what size the organization, uh, they'll work with you, especially if you can, uh, you know, make sure that you understand what pain point uh, and what their problems are, and you show a clear path to how those problems can be solved. Very, very true. And I guess, do you find that once you got a big player like Tesla or Netflix, you were able to leverage that to transition into your um, healthcare space? Yeah, it, it literally it's downhill once you get a few people that you can reference um, and 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 do good work with. It's downhill from there, and people are able to see that okay, this is a quality company uh, that that you've uh, that you've worked with and, and what have you. The way we got into healthcare was interesting. We started um, an, adver an advertisement on Facebook uh, that was catered to candidates that we were trying to um, trying to get for a sp very specific role, and we created a really uh, cool video. That video got a lot of attention. A lot of people were interested in working with us, and that's when I realized we needed to build a course because a lot of the candidates were from all different kinds of industries, but a hiring manager from a large medical device company in Italy, a Seote, reached out. We ended up working with them and helping them find healthcare talent. And that launched us into a whole new arena from that one advertisement. So um, just trying to, again, finding ways to stand out, what have you, people pay attention to that. And if you can get in front of the right person, uh, you know, that, that arena becomes your oyster, basically. 
Amazing. And I guess once you've grown off a group to a certain size, what was kind of, you, you know, the, the real turning point where you were like, I need something more and how you actually discovered Founder and Rapid Course Formula? Yeah, it was really at that moment that we created that video when we started getting, we, we put out one ad, we didn't spend a lot of money. We only spent about $500 on a video ad that we thought was going to really attract the attention of some, of some candidates. We got a ton of leads, but they were from different walks of life that we just didn't focus on as a recruiting agency. And I realized there's a lot of other agencies in the same boat, but what, what do they do? And I would ask other companies, what do you do in that situation when you have someone who comes to you and you can't help them? And their answer was, we just turn them away. And I really just, I never, it didn't sit well with me when I heard that and I would hear that over and over again. Um, and so I said, there's gotta be something I would do. I would sit with people pro bono um, and work with them, help them do their resume, walk them through the interview process on my own time uh, and help them get a job regardless, just because it just didn't feel right to put them, you know, brush them off to the side. And I understood that from a business standpoint, that's not a money-making thing. And I didn't want to get to a situation where all my time was put on helping people that weren't making the business money. But I was trying to figure out what is a way I can, I can really do this, really help them. And that's when I started looking for solutions on putting something in place that people could just come to and get help and support um, while we can still be nimble and work on the requisitions that our clients are, are paying us for. Amazing. And I think that's such a great point, like that you wanted to try help everyone and not just turn people away, especially if that was kind of the status quo among HR at the time. And I guess, you know, you mentioned trying to find ways to help them. Was the course the solution that you came across first or did you try different avenues before you were like, I need to start my own course? I tried different avenues. At, at first I was just helping people and then trying to find um, a way to justify charging them something. <laughs> and that worked pretty good, but it wasn't scalable. Then I tried having some of the recruiters that work for me to do the same thing, but it wasn't really working out and they weren't, or they weren't telling them the things that I would tell them. Um, there wasn't a standard, standardized teaching model that we were all following, right? It was just help this person out however you can. And it didn't feel very good. And um, founder I had heard of a while ago, um, several years prior to starting Offer Group. And I remember loving the content. Um, and it just felt like, you know how you read something and you feel like, I shouldn't know how to do this. <laughs> They're, they're giving away too much good information here. I should be paying for this, right? That's how I always felt when I would read your blog posts and, uh, you know, things that you guys would put out. The courses thing, I didn't immediately adopt, but when um, I saw that you guys put out um, the rapid course formula, right, RCF, that was intriguing because I was really trying to find out how do I build something that's not cheesy, that's not silly, that really helps people and can help them navigate with the presence of we are a large infrastructure, we can help them with whatever problem and solution that they have. And that was what you guys were providing. And that's, that's why I, I uh, hopped on board at that time. Amazing. And I think that's great that, you know, you found us in the end and it really helped solve that issue for you because I would love to hear, like, walk me through your first steps of actually thinking, yep, I'm going to create the course. What, was, what were your next steps? Did you think of a name? Did you think of what you wanted to specialize in? I struggled with names. When I, when I had decided I wanted to create a course, I had the worst names for it. Um, <laughs> basic names, things that didn't flow. It just, you know, and, and the course actually really helped to solidify things that I should be doing when it comes to uh, things. For example, uh, the, the portion there about evergreen content and the first module, um, you know, having a methodology, something methodical that people can follow and relate to 
uh, was really key um, foundations. And that really helped us create our you know, current program overview where we have an eight step program, uh, right? That we follow that helps someone navigate to a new job opportunity or a career opportunity. Um, those, are, those are things that really stuck home uh, and really helped us uh, when helping others uh, and, and make this more robust and something that people could follow and wanna work on. How long did it take you after you had these ideas and you knew the steps to actually implement them and create your course? My, um, and this is probably to my testament and my, and a weakness of mine, I like to rush to put something out and then fix it later. The first few versions were um, iPhone films, even not, you know, cameras and uh, nice quality, you know, edits and things like that. But uh, the, your course really helped, you know, figure out things like what infrastructure should you use? What, what provider should you use? You know, now we use, you know, Kajabi, right, to uh, host a lot of our, our modules and what have you, right, and video content and uh, tests and things like that. It really helps to kind of center everything. We weren't really doing that before. We would just sort of put it out there and <laughs> uh, people had to sort of, you know, dig through it. And so now it's in a place that really, you know, is simple, straightforward, um, white labeled. Everything is sort of in line with the direction and the look of what we want it to be. Which is so exciting. And I think it's great that, you know, you put something out and you have had the creativity to keep revising it and, and, you know, taking that feedback from your clients. But I guess once you did all this, you found the infrastructure, you revised it. What was it like when you pressed launch? It was live. How did it feel when you had your first client sign up to, to participate and partake in your course? It felt really good. Um, the first three weeks, no one signed up. And I was really um, deterred. I was thinking we're doing something wrong. And I changed the focus of letting people come to it to me bringing it to people, right? Um, and so I started talking to people when a candidate we were trying to work with, we couldn't help them with a specific job opportunity, I would tell them about the course. When I went to the local uh, career center at the time in the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, I would tell people there about the course, right? I would just tell people everywhere about it. Um, all the people that we had worked with in the past that we weren't doing anything with, I told them about the course. And so those things sort of spiraled a lot of our interest. And I made sure that I was on every single call about what the course was, explained it to them so that they didn't get the wrong impression as to what it was. They understood the value propositions and, oh, this is really helping me. Oh, I'm not, look, I'm not, I haven't found a new opportunity yet. This can really probably help launch me into the direction that we need to go. Um, and so that really sort of helped skyrocket what we're doing. Super interesting. Thank you so much for sharing that because I guess, you know, some people can be deterred if three weeks they've only got one person. And I guess after you implemented all these changes, how quickly or how many people did you grow by? and by what week? Well, it started going up pretty quick. So we went from having no one to one week we had 10 signups, then one week we had 30, 60 one week, right? It just started increasing, increasing. Now over 500 people have taken the course, right? Um, and we've helped them get into new jobs, new career paths. Some people's journey is longer than others. Like some people say, I want this as my career path. And then on step two, step two is figuring out if your skill sets match the job you want. That could be a long time right there and trying to make sure that you have the skills you need for that new job. So not everybody's career path is the same, same length, um, but we're all there to help, you know, cheer them on on their journey. And it allowed our company to still focus on taking care of our clients at the same time. And then there's some people from our course that we were able to help with a client that we're working with. And so it, it works out in that way as well. So it sounds like almost word of mouth is really powerful for you and your course as well, getting more and more, um, 
you know, growing your community, I guess, which is amazing. At Founder, 99% of our content is free. Today's episode is only made possible by our incredible student community, from our magazine subscribers to the entrepreneurs enrolling in our course programs. If you are thinking of finally starting your own business, make sure to check out the exact free training that led today's guests to where they are now. Head to founder.com slash course training or follow the link in the show notes. You said that you started off having iPhone variations of your course. How did you finally figure out, yep, this is the setup that I'm going to take. I need mentors. I need this Slack channel. Walk me through that process. Sure. So at first it was just sort of me behind everything, trying to help and support these folks. I didn't really want to bring other people in the, that were working with me already to now have this additional responsibility. Um, but the larger it got, when more people started, you know, coming in and working on the course, um, I wanted to put things in place that allowed us to help them without taking away resources from our business. And so we would make it so when someone got a job, if they wanted to be a mentor and have mentor status, they could be. Um, we would talk to other people that we've placed in the past who had one-on-one -on -one sessions with me, if they can also help and provide feedback. And it's really just being there for someone in the smallest of ways can make the biggest impact. That's something I wholeheartedly believe in. Just for example, oh, I know that someone at this company is hiring. Let me actually reach out to that person and see if they're willing to talk to you, right? And that's all they do, but that person now gets an interview. That's a new opportunity that that person didn't have prior. Um, and so sort of encouraging that behavior amongst everyone where everyone sort of helps everyone allowed us to really grow the course, um, the community, and also allow us to continue to focus on growing our business too. Which is incredible. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. And it really does show that, you know, you can grow just by implementing you know, what seems so simple as a course, but really putting in the hard work can really show how amazing the community is that you can build from your company. And I guess a few people listening might be thinking, okay, I, I want to start a course. What advice would you give to them about recording and shooting the actual course content? Well, the first thing is to have a clear understanding as to what you're trying to teach someone. And a lot of the time we don't really think enough about that. We think, I have it in my head, I know exactly what I want to say. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. But having it clear in, a, in, a, in, a, in methods where people can follow it and understand it, uh, bite-sized, you know, for example, as you guys teach in, in the rapid course formula, right? Evergreen content that you don't have to worry about changing. You can change the things around that content, but the fundamentals stay the same. Those are really key in building a course. And that's what I would tell people to focus on. Um, but there are a ton of ideas uh, out there and it can literally just be based on things that you're good at, things that you know about, um, that you do better than other people, uh, that can be what, what they use as an idea to launch a course. Um, for me, it happened to, I'm, all I've done is taken skill sets that I've used in my personal career and are sharing them with other people. That's it. There's nothing else I've done, but it's helped a lot of people get into new career fields. And uh, it, pe other people can definitely do the same. I agree. And I think it's so great that it is almost like a flow and effect that, you know, you have so much wisdom, just sit down, record it with your iPhone, and then you can critique and you can improve from there, which is like your story in particular. And I guess since starting and also completing Rapid Course Formula, how has it actually impacted your business? Sure, it definitely has helped, right? Um, so we were a small niche company doing, you know, mid, you know, to low to mid six figures prior. And since the course, the course did over a million dollars, um, which was incredible. Uh, that helped us to really kind of grow and, up and, and launch other portions of the business um, and allow us to continue to focus on those things as well. And now we're at a place where uh, over 500 people have found new jobs, new opportunities. Um, those are those are huge. Those are huge things uh, that we should pat ourselves on the back for. Um, most companies that are our size aren't hitting those types of metrics. 
uh, and we're able to, um, you know, enter those realms, um, you know, just by um, spending a little bit of more energy with, with people that need help. And I think it's amazing that you are literally changing people's lives for the better, helping them secure jobs. And I guess, I guess in terms of your course, what were some of the techniques that you might have uh, put forward to help grow your course enrollments? Sure. So to grow the course enrollments, we were looking essentially at what are things that uh, people are going to want to focus on. And we realized that career paths are different for everyone. Let's actually take away some of those targeted approaches that we use with recruiting and focus purely on career paths. And that career path could be traditional jobs. It could be any industry that someone's trying to get into, or it could be entrepreneurship and make those things a focus. Um, we, we actually put out articles that we would write on uh, tips and things on how people could make more money. Things like growing their career skills, right? Which help them es essentially make more money over the course of their career. Uh, and then also social media, um, you know, link, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, those types of of, of platforms helped us to get in front of a lot of people as well. Incredible. And I, I couldn't agree more with you. Those uh, LinkedIn, especially, I think is really great for um, finding people and connecting people. But if you can use that in leverage, it's amazing. And you mentioned how you've been creating articles and things like that. How many would you say have been, how many people, sorry, have subscribed to your email list since, you know, frequently starting to produce those emails and articles and things like that? I don't know the exact numbers on our email list, but I know we send over 100,000 emails a month right now. Um, and that's on average. Sometimes it peaks higher than that. Um, so we have a big list of people that are reading our content, um, you know, interested in, in hearing about job opportunities, taking bits and pieces of our course. And so we're expecting those things to really scale, um, you know, those efforts and grow this into something um, hopefully mammoth size. <laughs> Um, over the next year or so. Um, so we're very excited about that. But we did see a huge pickup on people reading and responding to that content last year. So that made a big, a big jump and a big difference. It's amazing. And I definitely think you're well on your way to have that mammoth size, if that's any indication of how you're going. But I guess bringing it back and working towards wrapping up, like describe to me where your business is at now and how is it performing? Yeah. So now it's funny, COVID had sort of a reverse effect. I was just telling somebody this morning, you know, when companies realized, my goodness, we don't have to spend money on buildings and furniture <laughs> and office supplies and all the things that we did before that created huge overhead. And we can just hire somebody remote in a different part of the country or a different part of the world. Uh, the, the hiring demand increased dramatically. Um, so we're doing great, um, to answer your question in short, we're on track to work with some large organizations and the course is doing great as well. There's a big need, uh, especially with in the U S we're having weeks or months where there's, you know, high hundreds of thousands of people claiming unemployment right now, and they need to find a new opportunity. Uh, last year when you had a situation of, uh, companies and people that were getting evicted uh, just because they missed two or three weeks of work because of the lockdowns. And so things like this are helping them to get on track with where they need to go uh, career wise. And so it's very, uh, there's a high demand for it. Absolutely. Describe to me a little bit briefly about, you know, your life after taking rapid course formula and like, how do you feel that you finally have your course in it and it's doing so well? It definitely changed my thinking. I love to look for ways that really help me change my thinking and my viewpoint. Um, you know, for example, when I started trained, I would spend 40 hours plus a week on nothing but reaching out to potential customers. And then the other hours were spent on all the other stuff that you have to do to run and maintain a business. That's not sustainable. Um, <laughs> so me thinking larger than that allowed me to grow that piece, continue to do strong work, work smarter and not harder. 
this course and creating it and the, the flow that you guys have sort of laid out in stone helped me think larger in that way as well. There's no way we would have been able to help the people that we did without it, right? And so that's, that's a, huge, a huge impact. And it's allowed me to think what's next for our company? What are things that I can do as well that's going to create impact, allow us to work smarter and not just harder, right? Not just in ways that uh, uh, help us get from point A to point B, but how do we get to point Z, right? That's really what this has done. And you did just mention there quickly the future for Offer Group. What is going to be the future for Offer Group? What big things or big plans do you have in the works? Well, there's a lot. Um, the next stage is to really um, grow our revenue and, and, and increase that on both sides of the business. We now have two sides of our business, the candidate side and the recruiting side, right? And that's really what I want to make sure is can we help 10,000 people or 100,000 people get a job, not just 500, right? Um, but can we work with 100 or 200 companies, not just 28? Um, so that's, those are the next stages that I'm, I'm focusing on and trying to find unique ways for us to stand, stand out from the bunch, which is uh, what I think is really key into doing that. And I guess lastly, if someone was listening to this and they're in the same position as you, where they're thinking and umming and ahhing about creating a course, what's the one piece of advice that you would give to them? Just jump in the pool, just do it, as they say, right? Um, debating it will never get you any results. And by just doing it, you'll see if you're on track with where you think something is going, or if you're not on track, um, you know, not to sound cheesy, uh, but you know, it's not, it's not failure, right? Unless you, unless you don't do it or you stop doing it altogether, right? Failure is a part of learning and it's definitely a part of entrepreneurship. <laughs> um, and so you have to roll with those punches and just try it, just see what happens, see what the results are, how people respond to it and you learn what to do and not to do. So that's what I would definitely suggest. Amazing advice. And I know I've learned a lot today speaking to you. And I, I do want to thank you again for sitting down and taking the time to talk to me about your business, talk to me about your journey, as well as undertaking Rapid Course Formula. So thank you, Brandon, so much. Thank you. Glad to be here. Hey guys, we hope you're loving From Zero to Founder and you're getting a ton of value from it. If you want access to the exact free training that led today's founder to where they are now, head to founder.com slash course training or follow the link in the show notes.